Benil Dariush or Charles Oliveira? See who fighters are picking in the UFC 289 co-main event in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. I'll go Oliveira. I just, again, I think he has more uh, weapons, more options. We know he can strike, and I think he's the better, slightly better on the ground. <sighs> That's another good one. That's another good one. Damn. Uh, I'm going to go with Benil. Um, I think, dude, I think Benil. I think it's Benil's time, you know, and I think he's hungry. I think he's a little pissed off because he hasn't got a title shot here soon. Um, so yeah, I think Benil's gonna take it. I'm going on Oliveira. That's gonna be tough. I would have originally picked Charles, but I went back and I watched the Gamera and Darius fight and Benil's a tough motherfucker. Like his striking's real good. His grappling's real good. I'm still gonna say Charles, but I think it's gonna be a lot closer than what some people might think. Yeah, Benil's got some bad luck. I mean, he's put such a long run together and then he keeps getting set back with this fight. He said it fell through like three times before. Uh, I think Benil is just that guy right now. You know, he's like the dark horse in the division, not a very outspoken guy, but a guy that's willing to get in there, get really gritty, go deep into the fight where, you know, things get tough and he, he never kind of fades. So uh, very high level jujitsu guy as well as Oliveira. Uh, if the fight goes to the ground, that's going to be the most exciting for the fans because I think that's going to be crazy scrambles and submission attempts. Uh, I think Benil actually gets it done. I just think he has that extra grit in him, that extra will that he wants to get there. So I think the fight goes goes long, but uh, Benil gets the win. That's a good one, but I feel like Benil really, really surprised me. His last fight, um, I forget the guy's name, but he... Gamrot. Yeah, Gamrot. Gamrot. He, yeah. he's a very, very durable, tough opponent, and he looks phenomenal. He looked like a Benio I've never seen before in that fight, so I think he's hungry for that title shot. He's been waiting around for a long time, and I think Charles Oliveira breaks. You know, you saw it in the Islam fight. I felt like he broke. I think it was a hype guess to his head, so... But you can't count Charles out, but since Benio's a good black belt as well, I think I'm going to go Benio in that fight. Um, I, This is a really close fight. I feel like both guys are kind of like the same guy. They both are very well-rounded. Um, I just think Oliveira is maybe a little bit more polished. Uh, he's a little cleaner. Um, I could see Darius getting it done, but I, I, if I was betting, I'd put my money on Oliveira. Oliveira for sure, man. I'm a big Oliveira fan, and I just think he's a better fighter. Benny, let's go. Let's go. If Benil yeah. don't win, we riot. Benil. Go on, Benil. Uh, that's a crazy fight, too. That's a very, very crazy fight. Um, I got I got uh, Oliver on that one, you know. Um, I I don't see that one hitting the ground just uh, because both of these guys are both so good on the ground. It kind of neutral. I mean, unless uh, I can see Darius trying to kind of take him down and hold him down. You know what I'm saying? He he he's pretty confident with his grappling. Um, but, you know, if it stays on the feet, you know what I'm saying? That should be a crazy fire fight. You know what I'm saying? Both these guys aren't afraid of sitting in the pocket and throwing throwing bombs, you know, and technically speaking, you know, not not anything crazy, no, but they'll sit in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? They'll sit in the kitchen while the heat's, heat's going. You know, they won't be phased by it. So um, I got Oliver in that one uh, just because he's been competing at a high level, and I think he wants to get back to the belt. I think he wants another shot at uh, Islam, but... You know, yeah, you should. Yeah, I, I almost feel like he should just get a title shot. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of brutal that they're that they're making him fight Charles Oliveira first, but um, that's a great opportunity. I don't see how either one of these guys don't get a title shot after that fight. I'm gonna go with Benil Dario. She keeps pulling, you know, tricks out of the hat. He's got a lot more power than people give him credit for. So I think uh, I'm gonna give him the edge in that one. This fight is the one I'm most excited about. Like. The, the most recent matchup that's came up that is just absolutely mind-blowing. It's going to be like fight of the night, guaranteed. And I got to go with Darush. I think he's the like unclaimed champ of that division so far. 